pleasure to introduce uh, Pierre Verkest. Um, he's going to talk today about, I suppose, the developer's um, <laughs> introduction <laughs> to accounting cutoffs for functional people. So I'll hand it over to you, Pierre. Thank you. Hi, so I'm a techie guy, uh, not an accountant. But as pro any problem solver knows, accurate data is crucial. That's where cutoff comes in. So I am Pierre Verkest. I am a freelancer and uh, work. I like to, to build business tools with my customers and uh, that are very integrated with their ec ecosystems. You can find me in Python as a Python programmers and everywhere in the DevOps, DevOps loops from the beginning of the project to, to maintain it. <coughs> so today I'm gonna speak about a cutoff. Let's imagine uh, OCA start to sell uh, live streams, or radio, TV streams, um, and uh, technical magazine tip. So I'm taking an example for, for explaining cutoff. So um, let's say come to come go to the website of uh, OCA and order uh, those items. So on online they can choose the start date of the services. So for instance. Uh, the magazines they order for six months from the uh, beginning of October and then online, online radio for three months and uh, a yearly subscription of online TV. So I have installed the French plan. Uh, so when you, you invoice your customers, uh, incomes are going into a 700 series account. And in the accounting, uh, you get all your incomes in, uh, to the date of the invoice. So what is cutoff? Cutoff is a is a point of time when you stop recording transaction for so and uh, start recording for the next period. Here we the customer order for service that is ongoing for on two different years and then you You may want to um, to cut your revenue to uh, to uh, to the next period. This uh, the income represents the, the what the company needs to to do as a service to our, to your customers. So, as a, in in this, in country like, like in France. You want to uh, to move that income to, to make your um, fiscal years independently from uh, one year to, to the other. So this is completely different than uh, the customer payment, where uh, I'll show I, w I will show uh, after, but for payments, uh, this goes to uh, other accounts. And uh, so we, we are speaking about uh, incomes. You may want to, to split with a smaller period to get accuracy and make this more decision making. So. For instance, 
Here I choose to cut off every month. So in the, the invoice is in September, but the service starts from October, so all the incomes are cut off and deferred to the next month. This is uh, the same uh, things with uh, energy, prepaid rent, uh, in assurance, and software subscriptions. So if you put on the same uh, graph incomes and expense, without a cutoff, it will, it will be hard to uh, make any decisions Whereas uh, on the second, we, we chose to cut off by months and it's easy to see if uh, we are more expense or uh, incomes in the company. So let's make a demo. I will show you uh, the, f sorry. I will show two examples. The first, without the, the model uh, I have developed for my customers. Uh, so, with auto community, without um, wi without the account move cutoff models, if you want to cut off month for every month, first you confirm the invoice, and then on journal items for incomes line, you have the cutoff button and you have to choose uh, when you want to cut off. So here, oops, sorry. Let's take the, the for the example, I, I will cut off on the, the 1st of January so uh, for online TV stream, it will be October to December on uh, 2024 20, and uh, the rest on uh, 2025. So if I go to my TV stream, I have to choose the right date. I want to put that. Uh, there is a, an account where you defer your incomes. So this will create two uh, account entries. Uh, one to move the from incomes account to so the amount will be um, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let's say we want 600 on January. So we, we have two entry accounts that will be created. One in uh, September to move from the incomes account to the adjust, 
adjusting entry account, the deferred uh, account, and the other one in January to make the revenue back to the income account from the adjusting from the deferred uh, account. This is January. So if you want to do that for each month, you have to do it for for 12. <laughs> you have to do that 12 uh, times and do it for each line. So it's a bit long. And then uh, you can go to your general ledger and you can see there is a, um, I think I probably choose December instead of January. So I, I have a part of my um, income that are deferred in, in December here. There is another matter with these systems is because if you had if you had done this and you want to uh, extern your invoice uh, I think it it will make a bit the mess uh, in your accounting ledger. Uh, but uh, Yeah, so your balance is um, okay, not too bad. So next, I will show you with uh, the account move cutoff modules. So here is another database uh, where I have installed an account move cutoff module. So I, when I confirm my invoice, all the different entries are created for me based on uh, start date and end date. Uh, so everything is here by cutoff by months. So when I, I go to the, my general ledgers, I get uh, all the months already displayed. I don't know where is the graph ship view, but anyway. Um, 
the other thing that you can set uh, is to forward or not a uh, product. So you may So even on um, on different line, you get uh, your your product on the line to make uh, is it for decision decision uh, feature. So what we need to uh, set to make this works, there is general settings in voicings. Here you, you can choose in which uh, journal you move your uh, cutoff and uh, which kind of, um, of uh, split you want, if you want uh, uh, equals the same amount for each month or if you want to provide a temporary by month. And uh, you can choose or not to uh, forward the, the link to uh, the different to, to future uh, income lines. And uh, accounting, uh, analytic accounting uh, lines are also different. So if I go to my uh, I think in the roadmap, this should be uh, an option as well. Uh, invoicing. Where is analytics? Uh, account. Here, yeah, my account. You go to the cost. So in analytics, I, I also um, forward the, the amount. So what we have seen with with accounting move cutoff. You can uh, get um, accurate period reporting, and the, the recording is, is done as a daily basis task, so you, you haven't to, to spend the, the last of the end of your month to uh, manage cutoff. Uh, so that makes it easier to, to close your, your periods and uh, helps to, to make uh, any decisions. You can find this module uh, in account closing uh, repositories in version uh, 14. Do you have any questions? Uh, yes, at the moment. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have two questions. Uh, uh, is, is there a way to automate the process and not setting um, uh, the cutoffs on each invoice uh, separately? Uh, and second question, uh, I think there is an, another module called um, uh, Account Spread Cost Review in OCA, uh, that seems very close to, to what you did. Uh, do, do you know about this module and how does it compare uh, with your module? Uh, I think the, the other module uh, works uh, at the end of the month. Well, you have to configure it and uh, lines are um, aggregate when possible. And here I keep the, all the details uh, to know which line 
uh, defer where the what was the source of the deferred uh, line and amounts. So this generates more lines than the, the other module. Yeah, is there an option to, obviously you showed the pro rata temporis and the, the equal distribution of, um, of deferring revenue and deferring expenses. Is there an option just to say, take my year end date, split it into each year? Uh, no. Uh, it's only, I am not sure, but uh, where's my notes? No, there, there is nothing to, to, to make it in the past. So the, this happened when you confirm the, the, the account move. The other things you can do, it's, if you, the, the, the account to defer your revenue uh, is set on the income accounts or expense accounts. If some of the invoice you, you don't want to generate uh, those lines, uh, just leave it empty and uh, you won't uh, generate uh, deferred lines. And the same uh, if you don't put any date here, just you won't generate uh, any lines. So this is a start and end that uh, from uh, OCE. So you can configure uh, on the product to tell if the, the debt is required or, or not. We, I think uh, the other module you mentioned uh, is based uh, also on, uh, on those uh, modules. What about if the subscription doesn't have an end date? Sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, what about if the subscription doesn't have an end date? I don't remember, but I think I can't uh, compute the, 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 the amount for each month. So, so I think yeah, I won't do uh, anything. But, but I don't remember really, uh, just try. <laughs> As an accountant, uh, in which case is it better to go through the invoice, as you are doing here, uh, and not from the mass action uh, that you can use uh, end of the month? I am not an accountant, so it's hard to answer. <laughs> um, I. I believe it's uh, first you, you, you get your um, for reporting uh, all the all the data are already uh, split so if you if you go to the analysis view you get uh, the information right away you don't have to wait that the accountant uh, runs a massive uh, action to, to get uh, the result. And uh, the other thing is, I believe that it's easier to sort out uh, things when you are doing it and not uh, at the end of the month and just come back on the topics and uh, understand what's happened when something goes wrong or something is, is wrongly set. Not a question, but a, a remark. Uh, I think this module is, is not for a content. In fact, uh, I, I don't know what is the English word for uh, um, controller de gestion. I, I don't know if he, but uh, in fact, your module is more for dashboard, uh, for for the direction, for example, more that for accounting. For me, for a content, it's okay to to to, to pay. Uh, in fact, uh, the real uh, amount at the time, so I think your module is more for dashboard than for accountants. 
Yes, you, uh, you are probably right. Actually, they ask us uh, for uh, the accounting is not done by Odoo. We are the, we are invoice making invoice, and uh, what just easier to generate those line in Odoo and import in the accounting uh, software. But uh, Yes. Yeah, first, I want to thank you for uh, contributing to the accounting cutoff because uh, it's a repository where there are very few people contributing to this. and. Uh, I'm surprised by the amount of people coming to this talk compared to the few people really contributing to this repository. So I hope uh, we can see more people uh, joining forces on the repository. Uh, there are a lot of uh, trial to improve. We had a other talk on the other years also. Uh, I did a, uh, a big contribution uh, for Actuaring everything related to sales and purchase on storable product. And uh, I think there are many valuable stuff there and interesting lot of people. But we really need uh, more people to join forces on uh, this repository uh, to do review and to improve uh, the stack that is there because it's an important topic. Thanks. Questions? Can we have a round of applause for Pierre? That was uh, great. I learned a lot during that presentation.